Well, Count Basie, you might say, was a protege of Fletcher Henson. That's the only way he really had a band, because Fletcher saved him. I played with Fletcher Henson, too. So you might say, I'm also from his band. I played with him a year. Uh, Count Basie didn't play with him. But uh, when Count Basie first came to Chicago, Chicago didn't accept him. Uh, Fletcher Henson was playing in Grand Terrace. The cop came in there, Chicago, didn't like him. Yeah. So Fletcher gave him his repertoire to play. And that saved Count Basie. That saved Count Basie. Yes. But your music, uh, it's interesting. I mean, it seems to be of its own tradition. You started in the 50s, your own tradition, the heliocentric world. You were from outer space. That's right. I was talking about outer space. A lot of musicians felt it was too far for people. But uh, it's not really. They, they had the wrong impression about people. They underestimated their intelligence. I, I realized that people uh, got feelings, and I reached towards their feelings and not their minds uh, because they most, they've been brainwashed, so why should I try to reach something that's brainwashed? <laughs> but their, their spirit hasn't been brainwashed, and it's pure. Everyone I meet, uh, I know that. I know what they're supposed to be. And I reach what they're supposed to be and what they potentially will be I'm not worried about what they are. I'm not trying to reach that part of people. But then I've been playing my low profile because I never wanted to be a leader, you see. But I'm getting so much published until it's messed up my profile so badly. you got to come up. I just have to come out and present what I have to offer to the world. Now, now you seem to me to be a man with a mission. What's, what's your mission today? Well, I, I, well, I'm really not a man, you see. I'm an angel. And uh, if I was a man... I couldn't do anything because man always fails, you know. He's so limited. He doesn't have the right to do things to make a better world. But angels are not up under the same code as a man. As an angel, I can do a lot of things because I think I'm a bad one. But it doesn't make no difference if you're an angel. You're a little bit a step above man. Well, as uh, somebody who's putting in time on planet Earth here with the rest of us, and uh, I must say that the, the rest of us are awfully glad you are putting in time here on planet Earth. You're bringing some good music and some humor to us, which is important. Of course, sense of humor is demanded in this age, and people have to see how ridiculous the situation is. And when you see something ridiculous, you're supposed to laugh. And uh, all they have to do is just look in the mirror at themselves and have a good laugh. Because every human being on this planet is uh, laughable, you might say. And they should see that they have uh, been put in a trick bag by somebody who just got them here. They're not achieving anything. And trying hard, too. Huh? Uh, I tried hard as a human being to do some things. Found too many blocks in the way, so I had to reach up to something higher and better. And I know what I'm talking about. But do the trick of making a world that is a better type of place to do. Well, I know you are doing that, and uh, actually this reference to the man in the mirror reminds me of the Michael Jackson song. Is it possible that Sunrise moving on up into the world of commercial success seems to be much more uh, well, I'm a, a pop musician? Or I'm going to move artist? into the world of celestial communication success. I have, I have celestial connections, you see. I don't have any French connections, but I do have celestial connections. So then I have to prove to the world just for their own sake that well, this is it.